Hi, Cancer. It's your girl, Brandy. Coming at you with December of 2021's reading. Oh my god, it's almost 2022. This has just been a blur. <laughs> I want to say like a decade. <laughs> but here we are. Let's see what general uh, message we get. Because these readings are general. If you want something better, go to the banner, go to the description. However, okay, what fell out? Leo, I will. Virgo, I analyze. Maybe you're dealing with the Leo Virgo. I don't know. Um, this seems to be... Whew! It's almost a stuck energy. Stuck for children. Stuck on creativity. Overanalyzing a situation. There's so many things here. But it's definitely in your head and not being able to get over a certain... Um, thing, right? Uh, emotionally blocked. Writer's block, emotionally blocked, creatively blocked. Um, thinking the worst case scenario, trying to think too far into the future, which is keeping you here, okay? If you feel like you're not being appreciated or noticed over something, maybe you should communicate. We're going to dive in and see what it's really about, but let's see, let's see. Because this is like health issues, which is like a nervous system, the stomach. Uh, Virgos have a lot of issues with stomach issues from over analyzing, worrying. Right, we need to go to the doctor, it looks like, to get this checked out with the star healing. Like, okay, we need to have some blood work ran. Okay, I'm not a doctor, but I'm just giving if someone was, these are stress-related issues. You may have a partner or family or someone. <clears throat> it seems like they're not really wanting to listen. I get that. That's what I'm feeling from this. Whatever you say, whatever you're, whatever you're feeling, they don't want to listen. That's why you don't feel noticed. And that's why you're like, you're going to have to go make sure you're taken care of on your own or ask for other help, right? But what action do I take? Because I'm looking over at them, not giving me, you know, any sympathy, not giving me, I don't know, which is making it really hard for me to take an action, right? Like, I keep hearing these things, it keeps making me worry. What action do I take? What step do I take? Someone is awful. I'm just going to leave it. Someone is awful. Okay, yeah. Exactly. Um, overstressed, overworked. Um, you're about to fall. <sighs> Cancer. You're about to fall. You need to pick one thing, stick to it. If anyone wants more of your time and effort, they're going to have to take a back seat because this is all linking to like health and home and I don't know, like a mother's bloodline. It's almost like keeping all this stuff inside, which is now coming out as like emotional distress, as lymphatic distress, as like stomach stress. This is too much work. Too, too many places, too many people, no one put it in the effort. My, look, the, the four swords under the deck need to take a chill out. We, we need to take a step back here. We need to do a little R&R &R for ourselves. Whether we have to take, you know, uh, a couple days off of work. You're worried about the money. You're worried about losing the money. Okay, listen. You're going to be a lot more worried when you just collapse. I mean, this is a very strong message for someone over here. Almost too worried about what the other person's going to say. or lose. I mean, that's a giant fear here. Using that throat chakra, cutting out what is the Queen of Swords, by the way. Ace of Swords, sorry. Clearing the path. Clearing the confusion. Clearing, you know, the people who are naysayers. Getting to the bottom of what's going on. Right? Clearly, phew, here's your answer. Start choosing. Start going. Start telling people no. That's a no card. Start telling people no. 
sorry, my health is a little more important, right? And that's when you end the cycle of overextending yourself. That's when you get a better little outcome after you do a little R and R for December, okay? December. You know, two to four days of rest and relaxation. Cutting everyone out, not overextending yourself here. Um, I feel like someone's children will benefit highly from this. Alright, yeah, the Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. This is just false worry. There's a lot of solutions, but you got to leave what you're normally used to doing behind. It's not working anymore. That's why you're here in this lack mentality. Um, this is a lot of health issues as well. This is fear of not having enough money to pay your bills, which is linking to health issues, which is linking to having, you know, um, marital problems, um, problems connecting to people. Like, there are solutions, but you have to go outside of the box to find them. You have to not rely on the people that make you upset for that, right? Right. This is a lot of lies and deception, and that's why you're going to get the light. This is someone in a partnership and children, okay? It's like, oh God, who could you be dealing with? We have Virgo, Leo, Leo, Pisces, Cancer, you, Sag, Aquarius twice as well. Just saying. I know Aquariuses don't really show too. I have an Aquarius moon. Don't really show too much emotion. They seem really harsh, really cold. So they're just not responding how you would like. So you feel like no one's listening to you. But they're more of a take action type of thing. Weird twist of fate. Trying to help you legally. Trying to get you corrected. Right? Mm, you may need that divorce. Someone does not care about your health. They don't care. Their emotions are gone. I mean, everything keeps leaking back to health and leaving. New start. Right. New start. New start. But you're not wanting to see that at the moment. However that pertains in your life. Now I'm going to pull one of these cards. To sum it up, I will read it from the book. Because it has more meanings and I just appreciate it. It could throw in many things, okay? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please, can you clarify this with one card for December of 2021? The Will of Fortune, but in the reverse. Let's see. That is... Alright. Is it in the reverse? Ah, I think it's all about the perspective of this card, right? What goes up must come down. What's down must go up. All right, then. This is probably one of the most beloved things in the deck. Why wouldn't it be? It's fun, full of surprises, just name states. It brings you fortune as one of the visually funkiest cards in the deck. It's supposed to provoke your energy to make you feel like glowing. There's more to this card. Prosperity and love or career. I think it's both. Like, that's what's taking a major hit right now. With your health. Okay? Um, don't, I'm, uh, okay, yeah, there it is. Background along with the bicycle. Um, it's potential confusion that you're going through. Lack of understanding what is happening as you're going through these changes. It was inspired by, that's why I like it, Hunter S. Thompson's Buy the Ticket and Take the Ride. I mean, if you're already on a boat named Life, you might as well just enjoy it. When you pull this card out, it's often a sign of big changes approaching and that you should re-examine if you're trying to keep everything in, tr in control is the best course. And resilience and lack of belief in yourself as well as trusting the process may only block your path forward or delay the will's arrival. You do have it twice. As the fates is this, it's coming whether you want to or not. Whatever, whatever this is, your health, your money, everything is on the line because you're in denial. Like you're you're blocking 
making that choice out. Anyways. Bring a new routine into your life. Change hair. Change health. Whatever you feel drawn to change. Uh, those are all pushing the back towards the real deal. Don't expect anything so that you may receive everything. The cloud of doubt and confusion will be removed soon. But you must be open for these changes. Do not restrict what you want and what you don't. Buckle up. It's coming. Alright, I don't know. <laughs> Seems like that energy is everywhere. So I guess face reality. Deal with your health. Because whatever you keep overanalyzing and stuff, I don't think it's too great for it. 